Hi, you can paint this. Now you ask me how? Well, stay tuned and I will show you how you can learn how to paint like the master. And today we're going to look at Henry Matisse. Um, so I'm going to give you a very quick history lesson and then we're going to dive in. History lesson for 60 seconds or less. So Henry Matisse was born in 1869 to a very prosperous family. So his mom and dad had great ambition for him. So after school he went to study for to be become a lawyer. So he got his law degree. But at the age of 22, he got, he got appendicitis and was very sick and had to stay in bed. So during that time, he, his mom actually bought him some paints to keep him busy and pass some time. So he started painting and he fell in love with painting. Um, so his early works you will see is a lot more indoors, uh, still life and it's much more darker and realistic um, and then he decided he wanted to go to um, art school so his dad was obviously not very impressed by this but his mom actually convinced his dad to give him a hundred francs a month so he could follow his dream so he went to Paris applied at the best art school there is and he did not get it but he did not give up and um, so what he would do is he would wait in the mornings for the tutors to come and then accidentally bumped into them and let his drawings fall out so they can see it um, so after a while um, one of the tutors Gustav Morrow actually invited him to sit at the back of his class the next year Henry Matisse applied again again he did not get in but at the age of 26, when he applied again, he actually got in. Um, in 1900, he um, bought a painting from Shazan. Shazan he called the god of painting. He absolutely loved Shazan's work. And that actually influenced his work. He, Shazan used these bright, vibrant colors. And Matisse actually started to replicate some of Chazan's um, techniques into his work so you'll see his works becoming more colorful and bright and vibrant but then in 1905 he met two artists Andre Donner and Maurice Flamick both of them were very bohemian characters obviously his parents did not approve of these friendships because they saw them only as drunks and um, using drugs and stuff like that so his parents weren't happy but together the three of them start a new painting movement called Fauvism which is very bright and vibrant colors in 1912 Matisse visited Morocco which is a North African country and he was absolutely taken back by the wonderful colors and bright colors they had. Um, in the cafes, they would have these men sitting with pipes and smoking and everywhere um, there was these bowl, fish bowls with goldfish in. So you do see that a lot of in his paintings. He absolutely loved that. But that is where I'm stopping my history lesson for today because that is the part of his life I want us to focus on for this first couple of lessons. Um, after that we will go on with the rest of his life um, because he, from here on he actually moved on to a different um, style. So I wanted us to focus on this part of his life. So 
let's begin. So, like I said um, earlier, Matisse was known as the, the um, he was bold with colors, and he basically only used um, organic shapes. Now, the difference between organic shapes and um, geometrical shapes is geometrical shapes uh, are concrete shapes like squares, circles, rectangles, and triangles. So I'm going to do two exercises with you. Um, the first exercise is going to be on to show you the difference on um, the geometrical shapes and the organic shapes. So I chose to do the fish bowl of um, the, the goldfish of uh, Matisse um, to illustrate to you the difference. So today we're only going to use um, geome geometrical shapes. Sorry. So what I want you to do is um, I printed out two, two um, of the same ones. So I'm going to draw on this one to illustrate some things for you. And then we will use the other one um, for color. Um, like I said, yes, he was very, very known for his bold colors. So okay, if I look at only the background, what am I going to see? Um, if I look in terms of um, ge geometrical shapes, so like I said, that would be triangles, cir circles, your square, red tangles. So you're going to look at your basic, basic shapes. So if I'm going to look to find shapes inside of this painting for the background only at this stage, in the background here, I do see a rectangle with a little rectangle down below. Here I do see a triangle and another triangle forming this side. Okay, so that one is just going to cut off. Then I do see a very dominant circle on this side. I'm just going to draw the circle in for now like that. I'm going to make this one here. I'm just going to go onto a triangle. I'm going to make that a triangle. I'm going to make the table's legs. I'm going to make two thin rectangles as circles inside a circle. Okay? Then if I go that way, I finish it, I have an oval. Can you see my oval? But remember, I'm going to put a rectangle over my oval and that's going to cut that off. So don't worry about that. Just put your oval there. You've got another oval over here. And you've got another oval overlapping over here. And then we're going to connect these ovals all together like that. So that's basically the shapes I want to want you to look at right now. Um, and that's what we're going to paint. Um, we're just going to do the background and the main focus point at this stage. So, okay, so I've got my basic colors here. I have red. You can use any um, acrylic paint. So, I'm going to pour out a little bit of red, uh, orange, oh, orange, hear me, yellow, sorry, yellow, hello sunny sunny yellow and blue um, I'm going to pour out some white you can really use any acrylic paint that you have and then I'm going to pop in a little bit of black um, black is very strong now in this lesson you are going to I'm going to teach you how to uh, mix colors as well um, so I'm not going to spend the whole lesson on mixing colors because you're going to learn that during the process. We're going to paint a lot, which I hope you're happy about. So, okay, so here we have a, a very light uh, peach color that we want to mix on that rectangle and that rectangle as well. So I'm going to first mix that little, these two rectangles. Oh, sorry, sorry, we have to draw in our shape. We cannot start painting if we don't have our shape. I'm working. Okay, so we have, like I said, we have a rectangle up in this corner. Um, you don't have to be precise. And then you have a little triangle here. And then I do have a triangle going out here. Remember, it's going up to form a triangle. But you just need to put in that one. Um, the, pa the page make that back one, and then we'll connect. 
will try to post you a video um, during the weed, a bonus video, where I will take a realistic picture and simplify it like this as well. But that will be a bonus one. Um, I want you to get uh, value out of this, so that's why I'm doing this. So then I said we had our, our oval here, which is going to be a little bit bigger than those two ovals. Um, because we're going to overlap, so just put that oval in here, and then um, if you're scared that you're going to over it, you can just draw two lines going up here, um, and then you're going to put your next oval in, it's about the same, you see where that's why I put the circle in, so it's, it overlaps just there. So if my, if that is the end of my table, my other oval is going to start over here, and I'm going to put my oval in there. So that was a good indication for me where to start this oval. Um, and then this one is basically almost going to touch that one, so I'm going to put him over here. And now I can put those lines in much thicker. those 
these little flowers there, you have the same color that you have in this one. So this triangle, oh, listen to me, red tangle, this red tangle, this red tangle, and that triangle is going to be the same background color. And for this one, we're just going to add a little bit more yellow. So let me show you um, how I start my... So you always start with your light color first. So I'm going to start with white first. So I'm going to put just a little bit of yellow in. Okay. And then a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of red. Remember red is much stronger color than yellow. So it will definitely dominate your yellow. So, um, but because that is more a pinkish one, um, it's okay if it's a little bit stronger than the yellow. This is a little, so there you have your peachy color. So it's almost white, it's just off white. So I'm going to color, I'm going to paint this red tangle. Ah, I got it. This red tangle, I'm going to paint this peachy color. And I'm going to paint this red triangle, this peachy color, and also that triangle. Okay. Okay. Now for the triangle in the middle, I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow and make it a little bit darker and a little bit more red. But I want it more yellowish than red. And I want it definitely darker than my previous color. So you see now I've got more prominent orange uh, color. But no, it's not dark enough. So I'm going to add a little bit more. There I added too much of the red, so I had to add more yellow because the red dominated the yellow. Okay, that's a good color. So now I'm just going to fill this triangle. There you go. So I made it a little bit darker. Okay, this color is also a good color for the base of the table. So while I'm having this, I'm just going to put it on the base of my table. Um, 
um, normally you work from everything from behind forward. I only did it because the acrylic paint dries quite quickly and I wanted you just because that is very similar just to bring that colors in before it dries on your palette. Um, so now we're going to do the background over here. So this background. So if you look very, very carefully at the background, you can see um, it's a dark brownish color with um, there's a little bit blue in it um, and you see touches of green. I'm going to make this a solid color for now. Um, when we get to the to the um, stage where I'm going to show you how to do the shading, I will show you how to put that over that. So um, at this stage, we're going to go pretty solid over there. Um, so okay, so how do you mix brown with this color? So the easiest, if you mix red, yellow, and blue together, you're going to get brown. So I've got, yeah, on this side, I've got already red and yellow. So I'm going to add a little bit of, of, of blue here and see what happens. Remember, blue is also very dominant, so don't add too much um, at first. Just see what happens. You can always add more. Oh, look at me. I said to you, don't add too much, and then I go and add too much. So now, I've got this ugly color that's not really... I don't even want to mention what color this is. So now I have to add a little bit of red and yellow. Did you see I added more yellow than I added red? Because the red and the blue are more dominant over the yellow. Okay, I still don't have the color I'm looking for. Now it's too... I'm going to add a little bit of blue. Brown is not always the best color for the easiest color to mix. Um, you can mix it if you have a lot of patience. You'll eventually get there. Um, because this color has a lot of blue inside, I'm going to make it a little bit more blue. bluish color. 
there as well. There is gonna come leaves over that, but for now I'm just gonna put the dark color there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my line open so I can know where that is, so I don't forget about it. Because you're gonna have a lighter Just fill 
now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling in some details um, for you to see. So I'm going to do it very quickly. Um, so now you can just play around, use your imagination, but I want you still to stick with your basic shape. I will show you in the next video why, because in the end I want you to put them together and see the difference. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just quickly going to put in my shape. So the green I did here, I'm going to start putting, I'm going to make a, a bigger oval there, another oval there, and an, oh you cannot see. So sorry. So I'm going to start just putting this in an oval form because it's the closest shape I have to this. Um, or you can put in a triangle. Oh, triangles can actually work pretty good. So let's put a triangle there. So my triangle is going to go here. So I'm going to put a triangle here.
can make this different. So what I want you to do is I'm going to make mix a more yellowish green and on this side I'm just going to tap do this one with my yellowish green and then I'm going to put in just lines like this. Thank you. 
beginning um, with the difference in values. Um, so if you have one color and you have the different values of that color, um, like I did on the leaf here, um, you can actually make that leaf more 3D and more 3 like dimensional rather than being flat, although this is just a, a geometrical shape, we have not really done a lot um, on the shape. Um, I accidentally did these flowers, but okay, they went, I smashed them up, I'll fix them. But I'm going to show you here what I did with the flowers. So I did a put a basic shape on it, and then I made a little bit of a darker pink, um, and then I will just go like over it, uh, inside my shade, uh, like a flower, like just little quick motions like this, like so it gives the illusion like a flower but it's inside my square. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my white, I'm going to dab it a little bit. And then I'm just going to put it here and there. I'm going to put some white over that. Um, and you can even put a little bit darker here and there. Just dab it a little bit. Just to give it a little bit more dimension. But this exercise is not to create not to create a perfect um, piece, um, this is really an exercise more for me, for your eyes, so you can find shape. And now here you can just dab like your greens in between the flowers, if you go a little bit over the flowers, it really doesn't matter. you to do is look closely with your eyes to follow color if you see a little bit of blue there follow your eye from this triangle putting a little bit blue in and creating like a little wave there going up um, so I don't want you to think you have to create this painting today we will get there um, but for me for today it's just the exercise to see can you find your ge geometrical shapes and can you actually follow color and can you add value to it so it does not need to be perfect for today this is just the exercise we're going to take this one and with the more organic um with more organic shapes we're going to create something that looks much more like this um but for me it's important so you can learn um, to find shapes with your eyes. So this is really just an exercise. So this is a good exercise because it's already very simplistic rather than going real life. And um, Matisse is the king of color. Um, he's, he's really good with color. So his colors are bright and exciting. So he's a nice artist to work with um, if you get to color.